congregation that are part of this group and uh, we are thrilled that you have been meeting in our in our building uh, for the last while. Um, I'm just going to give you a bit of a, an update on some work that we have been doing um, that is exciting and um, also uh, um, I guess it's it challenging but also exciting and so um, we have actually been working um, for the last few years uh, looking at how our uh, building can best meet the needs of the community um, in addition to supporting obviously the congregation. So we have been on this journey. Um, we actually started maybe a decade even before 2017 and 2018 um, to look at our facilities. Um, but we've had it, we started it again um, in around 2017, 18, to look at a visioning process. You know, who are we in the community? How are we supporting the community? What is it that we want to be and do within the community? Um, and uh, that was a lot of work for the congregation over, over a, a year or so. Um, in, uh, in early 2019, we had a community round table that some of you may have participated in. Um, we had about 75 people uh, from the community come and have a conversation one evening um, to really explore um, if we were going to create a center for community, uh, you know, what, what could this look like? Uh, what, how might people envisage using space uh, that is currently available at Richmond Hill United Church. And, and there was a lot of enthusiasm. People came, we had great conversations. There was an enormous appetite, I think, for, for uh, working together, for collaboration, and for our sort of um, looking, at, looking at space in a new way. Um, subsequent to that, the congregation uh, agreed to work with a consultant to help sort of reimagine our role as a community pillar and how, how our space might best, best serve the community. And we really did sort of focus in on this sort of integrated community space and, uh, and also with a focus on the environment and the recognition of the need for a net zero target for, for what we were trying to develop um, and en energy efficiency. And, and you know, with what we have been through over the last, uh, the last year and we continue to go through, this notion of how, how our space uh, needs to reflect um, a post-COVID world. Um, I mean, the pandemic that we hope we're going to get past sooner rather than later, but we know that this is going to influence um, space going in, sort of forward. Um, so as you're aware, we have a historic sanctuary and centennial hall that was built in the 1880s. Uh, we have what has been known as the CD, the Christian Development Building, which is the newer part of the building um, that we have renamed to the Village Commons because we really want the community to have a sense of um, ownership and welcome in this space uh, that was built in the 1950s, but we have some significant challenges around accessibility uh, with this building that has plagued us for a long time. Uh, and then we also have the manse, which is the house to the east uh, on Centre Street, uh, which is currently um, rented out to Home on the Hill and it's providing supports uh, to people with serious mental illness. So we're thrilled about that because it's, uh, they have been looking for space for a long time. So that has uh, been a great new development. So the focus of what I'm going to say is it's sort of tied to the first two areas um, the, uh, of our facilities. So, um, so far, we have uh, we've been looking at the possibility, in addition to obviously continuing to use our sanctuary uh, as a worship space for our community, uh, for the congregation, we also want to look at the possibility of adapting it for its increased suitability as a performance space or performance venue. It's it's a wonderful what the acoustics in that building are wonderful, and we've had um, various concerts over the years, and it's it's pretty well known, I think, to the community. Um, and there are things that we could do to enhance that. So that is something that we are looking at. Uh, the congregation have also um, uh, agreed in a longer term plan to look at redeveloping the CD building or the village commons as we're calling it to provide 
a more accessible facility with suitable spaces for community users um, as appropriate for a post-COVID world. This is not a small undertaking, needless to say, and it is a longer term vision, but um, we have tried and tried to look at how we might adapt our existing building and it's really quite challenging. So um, we have sort of taken a step to say we are open to the possibility of redevelopment. But our ability um, to do that is contingent on finding a development, development partners, financial and community partners. Um, okay, I'm trying to move my slide along. Why is it not moving? Oh, okay. Um, so uh, in December, um, we had a, uh, um, a design forum, the, an online design forum, and Marge participated in it, as did um, a number of people from the arts community, environmental groups, and social service organizations. And we had a wonderful session to understand how, how community uh, might be interested in the kinds of things that people uh, might be interested in. And there was a whole host of enthusiasm um, and ideas uh, in terms of how space um, could be used. There, we really got a sense that there was pent up demand from community uh, for these kinds of facilities in, in the downtown core. And, um, we, and lots of synergy between organizations. So we think that's pretty exciting. Uh, so in addition to, you know, not only meeting the, the needs of the faith community, our faith community, that we have this enormous potential for synergy and connection with other groups. Um, so this, this is a sort of very high level at this point. We are continuing to um, deepen our understanding of community space needs in the, in the near term. Um, we, are, we will be putting together a request for an expression of interest over the next few months. Um, there are huge, obviously, uh, implications around working with planning, uh, with the city, especially, you know, there's currently not a downtown secondary plan. The official plan is up for review. Um, and so, you know, we have this, this vision of what we want to work towards, but there are many, many steps in the journey uh, yet to be made. Um, we also want to emphasize that our space in the meantime is very much available uh, for community use once we get out of the lockdown. Um, and we have protocols in place, but we, we are very happy to welcome the community um, in our current configuration. And we also want to keep the community involved um, as we sort of take steps to this longer term, towards longer term vision um, and invite conversation and invite interest from people who, who might, um, might have an interest in, in the a redeveloped space. Um, obviously, if we are working with a development partner, that development partner, they could be office space or condos, I don't know, but we, uh, we would, there's much negotiation that would be part of moving forward, but uh, we're sort of trying to, trying to move one step at a time and figure, figure all of this out. It's a big project, but we just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up about what we are um, working on. And uh, I look forward to answering any questions that you might have. <laughs>